Hi, I've seen this broken LED projector on eBay for spares a repair. So I thought we'll, we'll, uh, we'll put a bid on it and see if we win it. So I won it for one pound and four pence, as you can see on the listing here. Uh, now I've seen these before attached to ceilings and things, but when it arrived, this thing's absolutely tiny. It's like, I'm it, putting it in the palm of my hand. I thought, you know, I wasn't expecting something so small. I thought, you know, it'd be, uh, you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what on earth is sending us here? I thought it was a kid's toy at first, but no, it's actually uh, seems to be a projector. So, um, apparently, when you plug it in, the LED just flickers and it doesn't actually display a picture. So, it came with the power supply. So, we'll plug it in and we'll see what it does. A little crack there when I wiggled the. I wonder if it's a dry joint or something on the power connector here. Yeah, it seems to. Uh... Oh. oh, it's came on there with the. Yeah, and we've got a, a very flickery LED there. Right. Well, I definitely think there's some kind of uh, issue going on with the um, with the power socket on the back here. Because it definitely sounded a bit crackly at first. So I shall just grab a screwdriver. And it all looks like there's four screws at the bottom. Take this bit off, maybe. It looks like there's another screw under here. Let's see if that uh, gets put in. Looks like the ribbon cable is a little bit, uh, a little bit squashed there. There's a lot in this. Yeah, oh, I've got a bit of glass just fell off there on the front. Have to remember to put that back in. Uh, oh, it looks like it's some kind of heat sink here with a couple of wires soldered on. I think I'll see if we can get this board out. Tweezers. And we've got three screws on the top here. Four screws. seem to want to come out and we've got some other cables down the back here as well I can see another cable down here that seems to go to the uh, CF slot and that stuff that's down here um, I wonder if it would be better on soldering these two wires here and taking these connectors off this is more just to have a look inside of it than anything else. Right, I'll unsolder these wires. Or desolder them or unsolder them. Whichever you prefer. And the white one goes to the front.
Oh, there's not a lot in it. Uh, looks like we've got a little infrared receiver there. Uh, there's a USB, mini USB at the side. I'm not sure what that's for. Headphone socket and TFT. Um, you've got a couple of resistors there. There's a couple of small ICs. That looks like the main IC of the thing there. And that's pretty much it. So I guess that must be the LED driver. And it looks like the LED is actually in this side. Um, right, I think what I'll do, we'll try resoldering these uh, connectors on this, um, we'll try resoldering this connector on the board and we'll see if that makes any difference. Right, so grab some solder. Somebody's had a go at this before, just the uh, solder on the top there doesn't look particularly factory. I'm just wondering if somebody's had a go on this uh, previously. Right. I'll put these connectors back in. Two wires out the way. Not a lot in this. Right, we'll uh, solder those two wires back on. Let's put a bit of fresh solder on this first. little cable back in the uh, connector as well. I guess this is for the uh, the LCD that must be in here somewhere. Now I don't think this is going to be particularly good or powerful but yeah we'll, we'll see if I can repair it. Alright so we'll uh, plug the power in and see if it does anything different now. I've still got a flickery LED at the front, so I wonder if the LED's failed on this. Let's just uh, <coughs> see if we've got any voltage on here, which we obviously must have, but I don't know what voltage we should have and what voltage we've got. 6.7. Uh, what have we got coming in here? Eight. Nine. I'll switch this off a second. Input twelve volts, one point five amp. Nine point one five. 
Oh, well, hang on. It looks like the adapter that's supplied with this is 9 volts at 2 amp. And it's got something called, it's got a make on it of gear 4. Now, I think that's either music or gaming or something there, from what I remember. But on the back of this, it says it needs 12 volts at 1.5 amp, not 9 volts at 2 amp. So I think what we'll need to do is uh, I'll have to see if I've got something with a, a small plug like that. Either that or chop these wires off and put it on the bench power supply. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll connect it up to the bench power supply and we'll see uh, what happens when we give it 12 volts. Right, so I've got the uh, bench power supply on now. And we've got 12 volts there now. So let's see if it does anything different now then. Well, the light's not flickering. Uh, I see something on the wall there saying no signal. Surely they haven't sold this saying it was faulty when they've just been using the wrong power supply. <laughs> That's what it seems like. Uh, right, okay. I think what I'll do, because we haven't actually going to plug it into the, uh, the mic. Scope, maybe if I can find a HDMI lead or something, or I'll see if I can find a signal source. We'll try uh, HDMI or something in, and then uh, we'll see uh, we'll see what happens. And then, so I've got a little Atari console here set up, and I'm just going to put this on a uh, on a tripod so I can shine it on the wall, and then I'll uh, switch the camera over to that, and we'll see what happens. Right, I've got it uh, hooked up. This thing is abysmal. You can't even read any writing on it, the resolution is that poor. Uh, so it's probably worth about a pound of four that I actually paid for it. Uh, yeah, I can't even see what uh, what the game is I'm selecting here. I see you just can't make anything out. Uh, you can make that out of it, so that's baseball. Ah oh, well, so... So, it doesn't seem like there was actually a fault on this, it just looks like they were using the wrong power supply. So, uh, not quite a fix video, but at least we found out what the problem was. So, well, if you enjoyed this video, give it the thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, please subscribe. Any comments or questions, leave it in the comments section below. And as always, have a great day. Thanks for watching.